Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is James and um, in this video I'm going to talk about the different design books I use for my pattern drafting. If you're new to my channel, I do DIY beginner design tutorials for clothing and other things. So <laughs> anything that has to do with clothing. Um, I teach you how to clone your clothing or I use pattern drafting textbooks that you can either buy or you can watch the video tutorial and see some of the scans um, that I've linked to in my comments or in the um, description page. So today's video, if you want to subscribe, make sure you do. But in today's video, I'm going to show you the different books that I use and why I use them. So if you are thinking about um, learning clothing design for yourself you might want to check out these books um, they're pretty standard used textbooks in any fashion design program but here I am um, teaching you all these things so you don't have to go to school first thing with fashion design or pattern drafting a lot of the books either use metric or they use imperial measurement systems so I talk about those two different um, systems in my videos I use them interchangeably uh, because sometimes when you're pattern drafting you want more accurate measurements and that's where metric come in handy but if you are someone who's never used metric ever you have the option of doing imperial um, text uh, design as well and I have some videos on that or you could just do the conversion which I tend to do um, in my videos when it comes to seam allowance especially but um, I don't usually do the conversions I measure things depending on the book and I still like using books because they give me inspiration so the first book that I design from is a metric book so it's done in metric and it's from Winifred Aldrich so this is the men's one this is the woman's one and the reason why you would get a book like this is because they give you um, directions to create blocks which are basically the um, base of any type of commercial pattern that you would design for yourself so a block starts off with basically a set of measurements from your own body or someone else's applied to paper very basic garment it's not really meant to be worn the pattern from a block it's meant to create patterns from a specific set of measurements applied to that basic block garment so for instance if I did a shirt block I could then create a jeans jacket from that one block and it would fit my body because it would be from my measurements uh, another thing which is nice is you have all sorts of different patterns that you can choose from and it's kind of fun if you have ever wanted to make specific types of pants or you want to be inspired the the these are the blocks the basic blocks and then you create shirts from those this uh, pattern book is a little bit retro I'm not gonna lie the patterns in it but they're great for anyone who maybe likes a little bit of retro 70s kind of styling and um, the patterns are really easy to create, ready to wear garments. If you're looking for something like designing gowns or suits and you wanna go in a little more complicated, be warned, it can be a little difficult, but I really like this pattern book from Helen Joseph Armstrong. It's quite thick, it's very detailed. There's a lot of garments in it that, or there's a lot of ideas in it where you can create garments such as bustiers, bras, bathing suits. Um, formal gowns there's a lot of ideas for ruffles and different types of pattern um, manipulations the blocks and the measurements are more detailed now I've done a video based on the measurements of a block from this textbook because we're creating a gown for one of my friends and it's based on his own personal measurement which is great if you are um, someone who wants to learn to design like really glamorous gowns and your body type isn't a standard fit this book would be great for you to learn from and I do have a video that complements this book with handouts um, but the nice thing about this book too is that it, it tells you how to design um, 
many different types of plackets, pockets, uh, zipper applications, things like that. It's a lot more detailed than the Winifred Aldrich books. So this not only tells you design, but it also tells you how to construct certain difficult um, applications. The second, okay, so the third, the fourth book, okay, this isn't actually a design book, but it's a sewing book. So if you're learning to sew and you need something to show, like uh, if you need directions, step-by-step -step directions for how to sew, um, a book like this is really great. It's quite detailed. I've marked some pages. Sometimes they're hard to follow, but if, if you are getting into making a lot of challenging clothes for yourself or you want something to refer to, this book is really great for that. It's for professional sewing. Now, if you want something a little more easy and kind of layman's terms, this is one of my favorite books. And it not only does clothing, but it does homewares as well. And we all love an illustration or a photographic step-by-step -step description, right? I mean, I love it. I'm a visual person and these are amazing. So this book I actually learned a lot from. See, it shows you how to sew in an elastic waistband, which are very difficult in my opinion. Um, one more book, it's a design book. Okay, so this is another design book. It's just menswear, okay? It's quite thick. There is a ton of really cool patterns, step-by-step -step instructions, and it has pictures. And these are all really modern menswear designs, which I really like. Keep in mind that when you are using a drafting book like this, you most likely, when you're first starting out, will have to create a set of blocks as described by the author of the book. Because if you're, if you're learning and you want to learn fashion design on your own, um, it's great to follow a book and it's great to have the blocks that they have you create um, in the chat in the earlier chapters. That way, when you decide to tackle one of their designs, you can follow exactly what they're doing based on the blocks that they have. So if there's a fit issue, you'll be able to look in their book, say, um, one thing I really like about this book is they have a section which is illustrated if you've created a block and it has fitting issues. So it's great to learn from if you're first designing clothes and you're designs are a little off it's nice to have backup on how to fix those and i really like these little design variation sections that they have in the back so this one's a great one if you're doing menswear um, if you have a man in your life you want to make clothes for if you're making for them for yourself and you want something really easy to follow that one's great as well and that's about all I use for the books and I'll be using these video, uh, I'll be using these books in a lot of my tutorials. So I'll provide some, sometimes I'll provide um, scans of the sheets that I use or you can just follow along as is. Again, when I'm doing my cloning, my clothing cloning, I don't use a pattern book because I've got the pattern right in front of me with my garment. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so that you can get all the updates of all my new DIY fashion design videos that I'm going to be coming out with. And I hope you enjoy the content. Thank you so much for watching and leave a comment below.